Hey guys, this is Fei Wu from Face World Media. In this video, I want to trivialize the connection process between using Eventbrite and Zoom. Eventbrite is significantly re-engineered its user interface. I think some of this is definitely for the better, but it also made the process a little bit more complicated. Zoom is not new, but has become a household name since 2020 during the pandemic. And a lot of people don't know how to take advantage of Eventbrite to promote not just any events, but in particular, their events on Zoom. Uh, this way, you can leverage all of Eventbrite's features, including especially the reminders to people a week, a day, or one hour, or 10 minutes before the show starts, or before your event starts. I absolutely love using it. So now I'm going to show you exactly how to connect Zoom from within Eventbrite. How you're going to do that is come to manage your events details page. Click on online event page on the left hand side. Then scroll down. These are the existing uh, channels and links where I have already posted. But down here, I can also include something called Connect Zoom. So let's take a look. Save time, easy for attendees, better security. All right, let's connect the Zoom. And here you can create a new authentication name. Once you do that, you can authorize Zoom. And remember that this does require pre-approval. So let's click on pre-approved and make sure you're signed into the right account. You can tell that by this little icon here and click on authorize. So now there's a green pop-up that says authentication for ABIA is successfully created. And here you can select a user. Oh, look, looks like the user is required. So I'm going to select our COO Barry. And you have to clarify, are you hosting a meeting or a webinar? So uh, I find Eventbrite to be especially helpful for meetings. And next is that you can actually select a list of the Zoom meetings, whether it's uh, already predetermined, configured, or you can just click on uh, create a new Zoom meeting and they will add all the details for you. And that's it. From this point on, you are finished. So now your Zoom account is connected. You can close this. You can also configure the configurations by clicking on the edit button. So by closing out the pop-up window, it drops you back on this event details page. And finally, as you can see right here, it says Zoom connected Barry Alexander account. And it says this is the meeting. Um, so you can edit on Zoom, uh, edit the connection. Honestly, what I don't love about the connection is whenever you're ready to make changes, it doesn't, it seems like you do have to make the change directly from Zoom. You see from Everywhere else, I'm able to just click on the trash icon and just get rid of it. I believe you do have to um, get rid of it by editing Zoom. So right here, after you click on that, it drops you right into this meeting. Uh, the good news is a lot of the topic information, descriptions, time, time zone, all this is pre-configured. If you need to edit this further, such as meeting options, you will have to do it from directly within Zoom. And also transferred all the meeting attendees there as well. So. Next, what I want to do is actually just get rid of this. So let me go to meetings and click on delete. And I do not want to send cancellation and that's it. So I'm going to refresh this page and take a look at the Eventbrite. And let's be sure that this is also disconnected from Eventbrite as well. So very good. Looks like that's good. Sometimes I would always worry that with these third party integrations, even if you delete the Zoom meetings, sometimes it's, you know, get another instance here, which will be really annoying. So it looks like it's pretty clean. And it's been many months since Eventbrite decided to connect with Zoom. It looks like they have figured out a lot of these things. But I would also say that if you have the Zoom meeting, uh, I would say that is a primary connection. But I believe this live stream option here is giving you um, some options too. I do like this custom option because I can give it any live stream title here, uh, any link, especially um, if you have already set up a Zoom meeting, whether it's personal meeting room or a separate Zoom ID, you know, you can just paste a Zoom link right there and you can add additional uh, watch instructions right there. Uh, that this could also work, right? Not just the um, uh, native Zoom connection. So that is it. Hey, this video is sponsored by 
Restream. Restream allows you to be everywhere and stream your content right on 30 plus social media platforms. I'm gonna say something unexpected because Restream has been a wonderful partner. In fact, I believe that they make content creators like myself better. They trust our instincts and always tell us that we should create content that is most helpful and meaningful for you guys, um, who is our audience. Thank you guys for watching.